Jesus and he's an awesome person. Do you do a lot of events too? I do a lot of events. Uh, well, right now we got the show coming up, uh, okay. the one you alluded to. Yeah, let's uh, talk about that. What, what's up with your show? Yeah. So what happened was the power of video. If I can bore you with like three more minutes. Three <laughs> more minutes of bore yourself. By the way, if you don't want to hear the story, you can just click off if you're watching this video. <laughs> yeah. But I think you should hang out. <laughs> cliffhanger. Cliffhanger. So, so, so I got to tell you a story because it's really fascinating how life happens. So uh, as a speaker, I've been trying to get the ultimate video, right? Yeah. And then there's a story to this. And so every time I contracted somebody, they never got it right. They never got it right. They never got it right. So all of a sudden, one day, I'm making the story short. I get this video. And this guy had set up this camera in the audience, and he shot it, right? And he sent me the DVD without me asking for it. And I looked at this 15 minutes like, holy, he got, he got it. He got it. It's not the best vocal, uh, audio quality, yeah. but he got it. That's the one that's called the best motivational video on my website. Somewhere. Okay. And so that video just launched me. You know what I mean? That one video launched me. But then about uh, back in uh, sept no June, July, something like that, I'm guessing at the time, but it was mid last year, I get a call from Hollywood. Hello, Hollywood calling, right? And I remember I was checking into a hotel and say, hey, we want to talk to you about hosting a show. I'm like, really? 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 <laughs> and so I was like, I told the guy, call me back when I check into the room. Call me back in 10 minutes, right? So the guy calls me back. And so we have a conversation. He tells me about the show. Oh, we talk more. I said, okay, whatever. He says, well, I'd like to, you to talk to our, you know, our, the executive producer or whatever it is. I said, sure, man. Just set up the call, whatever. So uh, well, a couple of days pass. They call me again, and we're talking, we're talking. And the conversation goes, well, after the conversation, 40 minutes, he goes, I think we're going to fly to your Hollywood. Yeah, whatever, man. Just, you know, <laughs> let me know if it fits in my schedule, whatever. I mean, just totally, Roberto, just blowing it off. And it's a, it's, a, it's a show about help, helping families who are, you know, you know just in dire straits economically. Okay. And so I was like, okay. So next thing you know, about two, three weeks go by, and I'm like, nothing. And I go, see? See what I mean? They always say they're going to do something they never do. But then a couple of days pass again, and then uh, sure enough, email, boom, tickets to fly to California to do a screen test. Oh, I think they're serious. But in my mind, I'm going, okay, we'll go do the screen test. I heard two other people were going to do the screen test, so I'm thinking, Psh. They're not going to choose me. They looked at over 500 people. Nice. So uh, we go through the screen test. As we're going through the screen test, again, making the story short, uh, I do my thing for two hours with the family, right? And then just just go at them, you know, just be really blunt, just like we're having this conversation, right? I look at the guy says, you're full of it. You, you're full of it. Everybody's full of it. You guys don't have a point. So we're, we're so we're done we're done with we're done with the uh, thing and the guys are like you you know you did really well the producers right you did well I said well thank you I said I do get a copy of the video right because in my mind all I think is give me the video so, <laughs> yeah, <it's> not, right? <laughs> talk, talk and talk and talk and he goes he goes no no he says uh, I said no no but you I mean you've never done this before right Victor I go no I've never done this before I go but I do get a copy of the video right he goes yeah yeah you get the copy of the video dude you get the copy of the video and so like it became a, like okay dude you get the copy so I fly back home. They get nothing, right? This is not. I just want the video because I know how this works. The other two guys look better. You know, I'm like, they're going to get it. They're going to get it, you know. And so sure enough, about, I don't know, I'm guessing at this point, about a month later, they go, uh, we're only going to submit yours to Spike TV. Your, only your demo tape, your sizzle reel, they call that. I said, really? I said, okay, uh, when will you know that? He said, so she goes, oh, no, we shouldn't know 40 hours. All right, well, give me a call. Again, still, right? 48 hours later, I mean, I'm thinking, okay, maybe this is, something going down here 48 hours later sure enough they go you know it's yours we got the green light for the pilot and I was like what does that mean because I don't know anything about Hollywood <laughs> and he goes he, here's what he says he goes it means you need to go get yourself a lawyer because I can't talk to you anymore he goes, oh, so, and I had, no true story I had, I had a fine entertainment lawyer I called a friend of mine who's in the movie business he pointed me toward uh, an entertainment lawyer a guy named Michael Rome Thank you, Michael. Uh, he, and so Viacom is the holding company. So Viacom sent me the contract. It's like this you know, contract. Yep. And so Michael went through it, uh, kind of highlighted everything for me. We negotiated back and forth. Boom, the pilot's done. Okay, let's go do the pilot. So we go do the pilots. The, 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 the show is five days with the family. Okay. And then I come back in 90 days and see how they're doing, right? And so we spend five days with the family. Uh, the tentative name is called Family Takeover. In other words, I take over the family. Uh, I'm on the Spike channel if you can just Google it. Uh, and so so we do we do the pilot, Roberto. Uh, we come back, in, you know, and the family is just, the transformation is incredible. That's okay. cool. Just incredible. I mean, it's, it's but it's, it's real. Okay. I love that. Reality TV, 
but it's real. And if you saw the show, it's like, you know, there was some, you know, that it was, yeah, it was that. It was like, it's not this. It was like, look, that, okay? So there's this. Hey, how you doing? And there's this, that, right? So, uh, dude, did you get the video? By the way, did you get the video? Oh, yeah, I got the pilot. I, but the thing is, they won't even put it online. Yeah, no, that was online. Yeah, that was, yeah, dude, that's, that's fantastic. And so, uh, so uh, it's going to premiere in October. Okay. And so the uh, and then so we got the pilot. Then they did a, a focus group testing okay. and a group testing. And uh, my understanding from the uh, the production company is one of the highest rated pilots they had in a while. Wow. And so officially on January twenty eighth, which was about a, month, about a month and a half ago, of that two months, whatever, uh, they greenlit. They gave the okay for ten episodes, the first ten episodes. And so uh, we start filming uh, in May, mid May. Dude, I'm, glad, I'm, glad, I'm, glad, I'm glad I got you now. Otherwise, I wouldn't, huh? Other than that, you might not be able to talk to me later. <laughs> <my brother. laughs> Dude, that so, is a fantastic story, man. Amazing? But I always tell people, and you know what got it? That damn video. I asked the guy, well, how did you find me? This is where I, I full circle. I go, how did you find me? He said, well, we saw that video. And No, no, but, but I, 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 should, I forgot to say this. So he saw the video of me... Doing that, right? Okay, but day. where? where, where the, the producer found you on YouTube? On YouTube. On oh. YouTube. But wait a minute. It gets better. This ties into you now. So he finds me on YouTube. And so he goes, well, I saw your motivational video. And I thought it was really interesting. It's really good because I saw the energy. But my concern was, could you go you know, big? Can you really get in people's faces? And then last January, not this January, last January, we're up in Minnesota where it's cold as hell. And I didn't have anything to do. And somebody called me up to say, I'd like to do a Skype interview with you. Yep. Like this, right? And I remember I was like, all right, God damn it, it might as well. It's cold up here. And I remember, I was, she was asking, I remember we were having a conversation, and I was like, yeah, well, here's what they don't do. Here's what they need to do. Here's what, you know. And he goes, I saw your motivational video. We said, that's good. He's got the energy. But when we saw that Skype interview, we like, mm -hmm. call that guy up. Wow. <laughs> you just never know. You never know. So that little Skype video was the one that closed the deal on them to call me. Isn't that something? No, that's but, fantastic. Dude, when I, when, I, when I say tell people I believe in video, I mean I believe in video. No, I believe and that. I believe you believe it. Anybody can leverage video. My brother, thanks for your generosity, for giving your time today. It's super, super blast to have you as a friend. And I cannot wait to watch your show, man. Now I'm going to be, that's my boy right there. I'm going to take a, a picture with you on TV. Just, and by the way, congratulations on the wedding, man. I appreciate that, man. I'm blast, man. Blast, man, man. All right, brother. Thank thanks so much. Appreciate that. Go check out Victor Antonio on YouTube right now. Thank you, man. Bye-bye.